Welcome to Mastering Solutions. In this vectors and motion problem, they want us to figure out how much height the vulture is going to lose as it's gliding. So let's draw the picture of what's happening. So they say that a vulture glides for a horizontal distance of 100 meters. So we have 100 meters here. And they say that normally the vultures will glide down at an angle of 3.5 below the horizontal. I'm exaggerating this a little bit. Obviously, that's probably bigger than 3.5, but I'm just making it easier so we can see it. So we have 3.5 degrees below the horizontal. And they want to know what height does it lose. So right here, we'll say H is the height where the vulture is going to start, and then it drops, and that distance is how much it's going to lose. So to use this, obviously, we just created a right triangle so we can use SOKOTOA. So so. Ka toa and we have the angle and we have the adjacent to the angle but we don't have the opposite of the angle so we'll be using tangent so what toa means is tangent of theta or the angle is equal to the opposite over the adjacent now we have theta as we talked about, and we have the adjacent, but we need to solve for the opposite. So let's isolate that by multiplying both sides of the equation by the adjacent. So we have opposite is equal to the adjacent times the tangent of theta. So now we can just plug in our numbers into this. So we have the opposite is equal to the adjacent, which is 100 meters times tangent of 3.5 degrees, which will give us, and make sure your calculator is in degree mode, so that will give us 100 times the tangent of 3.5, and we have 6.12, or let's just round it to 6.1 meters, drop in height. So where the vulture stops, it loses 6.1 meters. Since we're stating that the drop in height is, um, is happening, we don't need to indicate a negative here. Um, so just 6.1 uh, positive value is okay because we know that it's losing the height.